Hi everyone, my name is Roger Bergini. I am a developer and researcher of virtual environments for health, education and arts and I'm going to present to you our proposed research. The title of our work is Virtual Reality Architecture Neurosciences Modeling and Evaluation of Immersive and Homeodynamic Hospital Environments at CAISM Unicamp. The purpose of this research has the following main motivations. There is a prevalence of high stress levels among health professionals and healthcare staff in hospitals, especially nurses who are more susceptible to developing burnout due to the high working demands, which was aggravated during the COVID-19 pandemic. Studies have also indicated a possible correlation between how the working conditions of nurses in hospitals hospitals can directly affect patient safety. And there is a lack of evidence on how humanized hospital environments simulated in virtual reality can be designed to help reduce the levels of stress of nursing professionals, with the purpose of providing consistent somatosensory and sensory motor stimuli to the homeodynamic balance of its users. VR systems have become popular as advanced computational interfaces that allow real-time navigation and interaction in three-dimensional environments through multi-sensory devices. In recent years, we have seen an exponential growth in the use of this technology for games, films, education, arts, sports, and so on. In healthcare, studies have shown that the use of VR as exposure therapy resources tend to produce favorable effects on the homeodynamic balance of patients with different diseases. The sensory and sensory motor stimuli experienced within such technologies are able to promote, for instance, relief of pain intensity, stress level reduction, and reduced risks of hypertension syndrome in blood pressure tests. Some other examples of VR application as a healthcare intervention are for pain management in birth injured patients, as in this example where children with birth injuries underwent VR analgesia for the treatment of burn wounds. Results showed that when added to the standard pharmacologic analgesia, immersive VR has been shown to significantly reduce patients' subjective pain ratings compared with the standard pharmacologic analgesia alone. Another example is the use of virtual environments as intervention for rehabilitation of postural control dysfunction for elderly individuals. Through a 3D game-like scenes that simulate situations that may induce dizziness, anxiety or imbalance, the study's physical therapists confirmed that the system added a dimension to the sensory integration of the elderly participants that they did not have before. Considering that homeostasis is the process that organisms automatically use to actively maintain stable mental, physical and chemical conditions necessary for the well-being, it is also important to note that such balance can be positively or negatively affected by stimuli from spaces and environments. In this way, humanizing spaces means adapting them to consistent and sustainable use by humans according to their needs and desires. VR ambiences, therefore, can act in the promotion of human homeostasis through humanized environments that can help in the regulation of internal mechanisms such as feelings, emotions and body perception. As the emerging body of studies about the design, validation and development procedures of such ambiences is extremely fruitful and relevant, especially regarding their consistent contributions to the biological homeostasis of human beings, this research aims to model humanized and homeodynamic hospital VR environments for nursing professionals for the Center for Integral Care to Women, capable of reducing their stress 
stress levels resulting from physical and mental overload to which these professionals are daily exposed in the hospital settings and further increased by the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Center for Integral Care to Women is a reference hospital for teaching, research, extension, tertiary and quaternary assistance to the health of women and newborns. This center is located in the health area of the University of Campinas in Brazil and serves the female population living in Campinas through the public health service for different age groups. In order to achieve the proposed objective, we intend to perform the following steps. Mapping and identification of design parameters of humanized hospital environments, both through literature systematic review on transdisciplinary cooperation, for example, between humanized hospital environments, intelligent biointerfaces, and virtual reality, and data collected in field research, for example, collection of architectural data, design, and observation of professionals' routine and semi-structured interviews with the healthcare team before and after the experimental protocol application. We also intend to consider literature reviews on the use of VR in healthcare, set of recommendations for conducting clinical studies using VR, VR soundscapes to reduce stress in hospitalized patients, and guidelines for conducting usability assessments for health-related VR applications for patient treatment and medical professional training. Furthermore, the design and conception of these virtual environments are based on the cooperation between the fields of architecture and cognitive and behavioral neurosciences, especially supported by the concept of homeodynamic environments and products. Implementation of the humanized and homeodynamic hospital VR environments will be done through the game engine Unreal 5, which offers libraries and tools that allow the easy creation of 3D virtual environments with a high degree of visual realism, besides allowing the export to different platforms and devices, for example Android, iOS, computers and so on. In addition, its blueprint scripting visual system can facilitate the development process and customization of these environments in iterative cycles. As we have the intention that other hospitals can use the VR environments developed in the context of this research, we plan that the resource can be accessed on affordable and easy-to-handle devices, such as smartphone VR headsets, which requires the simple use of a smartphone attached to a low-cost VR case. Some examples of these models are the Samsung Gear VR and Google Cardboard. The tests and validation of the humanized and homeodynamic ambiences modeled will be conducted with the nursing professionals of the Center for Integral Care to Women, with the organization of participants in experimental and control groups. Experimental group members will be exposed to the VR humanized environment, while control group participants will be exposed to the normal hospital working conditions. Instruments for intervention validation are scales to measure perceived stress, usability, and sense of presence. Such interventions are also associated and synchronized with the performance of intelligent biointerfaces in order to collect consistent neurophysiological data performed during the immersion of the research subjects in the simulated environments. Thus, the results of this research and to contribute to the reduction of stress levels of the nursing professionals, both in the pandemic and post-pandemic contexts. These are the references on which we based this work. And if you have questions and want to know more about our project, feel free to send me a message. As we are at the beginning of the research, we would be happy to receive suggestions. So, thank you very much.